All right. I hope you had a quick break and we're back and welcome to our second concert. We will feature four audiovisual works with very unique and strong artistic viewpoints. All right, without further ado, let's jump into it.
Wow, <laughs> this is our second concert. Such a great collection of audiovisual works. And let's invite the artists on the virtual stage and you can unmute yourself, I believe. Yes. Um, and then let's give them a round of applause. Bravo. Um, if you have questions, you can raise your hand by using the reaction function located on the bottom right of your Zoom window, or you can just unmute yourself and speak up because I can't really see all the audience here. But if you can, if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, do we have questions from the audience? Not yet. Oh, Devin? Yeah, I have a question for Tess. What program did you use for your performance? Um, hi, Devin. Uh, so I used After Effects for all the visual uh, parts of it and then Logic for all the um, audio parts of it. That's incredible, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah so, so I'd like to follow up as well. I just curious to know in your video, is it uh, only stereo or do you have a multi-channel version? Um, it's only stereo. Yeah. 
So I have a follow up question for Tess, since you're the one that already started to answer questions.、Mm -hmm. So Tess, I know that you're not a composer because Tess was my student.、Uh, I think it was、um, a year ago, something yeah, like that. Yeah,、true. yeah. You are in major in in environmental field, right? Environmental science.、Yeah. Um. So Dream, this piece was your first audiovisual work. So. Does this background of yours that provide a special vision for your multimedia creativity? Um. Yeah. For sure. Uh. So I. I definitely have because I don't have a professional music, uh, or composition background. I uh definitely don't have the comfort as <laughs> you know uh a professional musicians or composers would have with. Creating,、um, you know, a composition. So I, I tend to look outside of music to in areas that I'm more comfortable with,、um, and I let that guide、um, the evolution of the music and the structure and and the pacing of it and that sort of thing.、Um, so more often than not, that means that I'm looking to the natural world, which is、um, something I'm familiar with and spend a lot of time with. So I、um, collect sounds and visuals, and I and I piece them together from the natural world,、um, pieces that I find really beautiful, and I really use that as the core of my compositions.、Um, and then I,、um, from there, I'm able to kind of figure out how to put something together.、Um, and sometimes, you know, the natural world gets really heavily manipulated and almost unrecognizable.、Right. But I always start with with that, and that helps me. Yeah. Wow, that's great! Amazing, congratulations! Thank、yeah. you so much, and thank yeah, you. Yeah, for I just, I just want to say to Tess, I just want to say to Tess that is beautiful, and composing a piece isn't always comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, thank you. That's good to hear. <laughs> yes, yes, and、um, I. So as、uh, Mike was mentioned, maybe thinking about to make a you know surround sound like eight channel version of this, I think it will be great. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool.、Yeah. I haven't thought of yeah. that. Yeah, but... yeah, we can talk more about this. <laughs> sure. Yeah.、That's、All right.、Good. So,、uh, I do have a question for our first piece, and I feel incredibly sorry that we had this sharing glitch that in the beginning of the piece, but、uh, we fixed it later on. So,、uh, Yulia, are you here? And Nina. Yulia isn't here. She's in Austria in Vienna、okay. right now. But, but you're here.、It. Okay. So、yeah. Nina, a great piece, and it just both in video and audio, it just amazingly putting together. So could you tell us a little bit about what's the collaboration process between you and Yulia?、Um, in this piece,、uh, Yulia and I were working on a、uh, interactive installation museum piece that had to be. Uh, bookshelves because of COVID, but we wanted to work、mm -hmm. on a project together anyway.、Um, and so,、uh, at the onset of the pandemic,、uh, Yulia's father was diagnosed with terminal cancer, and so she was thinking a lot about you know memory and and time、mm -hmm. and and death.、Um, and she embarked on this really cool project where she was、um, making these、uh, small paintings of different characters and giving them to healthcare workers. Um, and so we were talking about what we could do as a substitute for our project, which was also under the same title, always and forever, and ruminating on similar topics.、Um, and so we said, well, why don't we make something that's actually for the time of COVID? So a video-specific piece that we'll collaborate. So she、um, took these different characters and made this animation story,、uh, which is sort of this wild world into.、Uh, The sacred and the profane,、um, with these very、um, amazing chimeric characters,、um, and so she was sending me different drafts, and I was、um, improvising audio、uh, using some synthesizers to this. We would go back and forth and extend and tweak the animation and and the audio until we had this final project. Wow, that's just such an incredible collaboration, and、uh, you know, it's bring me into this like a really a surreal world when everything is kind of like in a very creative way that coming to me, and it's so inspiring in a very weird way. I'm not gonna lie, but it's it's a truly having the impact, right? Yeah. Do we have questions for、um, this piece? Anyone? I would like to know that how she made it.、Uh, do you know Nina? Like, 
But yeah, so Yulia, she paints everything um, and then right. she animates these um, together. I don't, you know, I don't know which software she's using for animation uh-huh. right now, um, but everything is is hand drawn. Wow. Um, in terms of all of the characters and it's a really beautiful uh, practice. Wow, um, that's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, let's moving on. Then we have, um, I have a question for Linda. The really you know, details of your piece. It's just such beautiful part that really mesmerizing. And, uh, you know, I wonder how, how did you create your piece? Um, Well, this is my second audio visual piece. And in the first, uh, you know, I was like a a toddler at daycare with just (laughs) all the toys, all the lenses, uh, you know, everything I could think of. Um, just when you're in that that phase of kind of exploring uh, something that that's that new, um, but I I realized that visually and technically, you know, visually what the audience sees and technically what was the most fascinating for me to do, um, ended up being the macro lens work. Mm-hmm. Um, so the three you know kind of vital components of this video piece are. Um, uh, mac- macro videography with manual focus pulling um, and dynamic lighting. Um, so a lot of uh, pretty much all the movement, I'd say 98% of anything you saw moving there uh, was a result of, you know, dynamic lighting or focus pulling on that macro lens. Um, and then I did all the effects processing and after effects. Uh-huh. What's the object that you're filming though? It's a, like a plant or... I have to show you. I don't even know what to call it. It's it's shiny, and I got it at the craft store. <laughs> show us. And you're gonna you're gonna recognize. You see the little? Does that look familiar vaguely? Huh. The little zigzags that you saw, or like sometimes they look like oh, a double, yeah, like yeah, a helix yeah. or something. Is it and it like a flip because it's obviously something you would want to put on a necklace or your backpack. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so amazing that you can make such a beautiful piece from that little blingy thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. um, Audio wise, as well as visually, um, as well as all the, you know, techniques that went into, you know, the audio and the video side, it's, it's definitely by far the most minimalist thing I've ever done. Yeah. Very lovely. Yeah. All right. Congratulations. Yes. So um, I don't really see Josephus here. Um, so, but I want to say our last piece, the resist, is such a energetic piece, and I believe that he has a lot of um, you know, background in jazz and also popular music. Yeah. Um, all right. Do we have questions from the audience to our amazing artists? You can you can unmute yourself or you can raise up your hand. No, Linda, could you talk a little bit about uh, the audio creation in your piece? Maybe sound source and things along those lines, and kind of what your focus was in creating the audio uh, part, and maybe discuss a little bit of the process of marrying those two oh. elements. I thought your piece did a great job of really wedding those uh, the audio with the visuals. Um, well, as far as like placement of the audio um, in both of my video pieces, that came um, later. Um, and, uh, you know, is, is kind of uh, some shuffling. I, d- I didn't really have, you know, as I was creating the images, I didn't have an idea of, oh, this sound is going to go here and that sound's going to go there. Um, I kind of stuck a little more to my typical process in the audio as far as uh, software and programs and having, you know, definitely more diversity in the audio samples than I did in in the video, but certainly not as much, you know, diversity in my source samples as I I typically do um, in in an electronic piece. So um, there were Western and non-Western instruments. Uh, There was gamelan, some bassoon, um, monks chanting, um, and then some of it was even um, an installation 
uh, where I did audio that uh, did real-time sonification of brain waves on Raspberry Pis. Um, and these were processed in things like C sound and Super Collider. Uh, I, I love the ease of doing uh, uh, convolution uh, with space designer and logic. So that's kind of my go-to whether I'm you know recording songs or you know doing a final mix of a, of a piece like this. Um, so that's for the stereo version. And then there are some things that I bounce out into uh, Reaper when I want to, you know, take that and expand it into a multiple channel work. I just say, you know, I know a lot of your work and it seems that, uh, although I agree, this is maybe the reserved Linda uh, to some extent, <laughs> I got to say, it still has your creative voice throughout. And uh, I think I would still have been able to say, oh yeah, that's uh, Linda Antas's piece. So congratulations. Great work. Great Thank you so work. much. Yes, great work. Yes, I just noticed that we have Joseph Fias here, our composer for the last piece. So um, yeah, your piece is so energetic. I have a question for you because I'm not so sure that you had any background in popular music. Could you tell us if you get any inspirations from those? Hi there, can you hear me? Yes, Woo, you're oh, outside. Oh, wonderful. Hey there, Kay. <laughs> So, yeah, no, I grew up playing in rock bands. That's how I came to music. And so that was my first experience as a music maker was the keyboard player uh, in these punk bands. And when I was uh, like 14 years old and that made me love music. And then I wanted to learn more and I went to the university. And of course, the university professors hated all the music I was making. Uh, So I thought, I'm going to get through this anyway. And if I ever get the opportunity to be a professor someplace, I'm going to try to blow the doors off the School of Music and invite all this music in (laughs) that's generated by our culture and let it become part of who we are and let it percolate along with everything else. Anyway, so that's, yeah, so that's, that's, I guess my music is just in some ways a, a reflection of all of those influences. Yes, wow, that's just amazing that I can definitely tell that you're almost getting the door blown. So yes, and it's a great mixture with popular music and, uh, you know, uh, the acoustic composition. Yes, congratulations. Hey, thank you so much. That's a great question. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. All right. So I think this is a good time to uh, finish our um, concert, our second concert. Our next concert will be 3 p.m. Eastern time, which is uh, noon Tucson time. Mike McFerrin will be your host for the next uh, concert. So I will see you guys at 3 p.m. Eastern time. <laughs>